Hey guys and welcome to Fez Air Software. Today I'm going to unbox, test and review this tactical chest rig from One Tigris. Hey guys and welcome back. If you do enjoy this content today, please do consider liking, commenting and subscribing. Those interactions help the channel get seen by the YouTube algorithms and it helps the channel grow. If you want to support the channel a little bit more, channel memberships are just 99 pence a month uh, using the join button down below. Custom videos, bloopers, your own giveaways, your own private chat section in my Discord as well. Totally optional, massively appreciated. We've also opened the merch store now on the link tree link down below. That will take you to the Fez merch website where I'm selling hoodies, beanies and all that kind of stuff. Um, again, if you want to show a little bit of appreciation. And last but not least, the link tree link down below will take you to uh, all of my socials, including my Discord. Uh, so come along and say hello and, uh, and get joined in with the discussion and the great community on there. So... First of all, I'd like to say a massive, massive thank you to One Tigris for sending me um, this chest rig and a holster and a belt as well, which I'm going to do separate videos on. Uh, and I am pretty damn excited. This is the first time I've owned their proper tactical gear. Uh, I have had one of their tactical dog harnesses, which I will link to down below, which lots of people uh, enjoyed just for tactical teddy blessing, my little blind dog um, wearing that tactical harness. And uh, I really like the quality of that. So we've got today uh, this multicam chest rig, which I'm really in looking forward to getting sort of out and, and on with. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at it now, have a look at some of the fitment and mags and stuff like that. Um, literally, this is midweek when I'm filming this. I am airsofting this weekend, so I'm going to get a chance to go and play with all three of these items that I've got uh, and, and get a chance to use and test them all. So I'm really looking forward to this. So we've got the One Tigris label which is just sort of as giving you their usual sales stuff uh, about the company a little bit. A um, little bit about the quality warranty, the Duraflex buckles that they're using, uh, and the, the, it's a YKK zip on there as well. So, <clears throat> open this up a little bit. Now, first thing I'm going to tell you is this is ridiculously lightweight. Um, so it's about 500, just, just over 500 grams, about 520 grams. So it's really light. Light, lightweight. I'm, I'm impressed with that. Um, that's quite nice in the back there. I'll come back to that in a minute. I'm getting a little bit carried away with myself. Um, so, chest rig them. Uh, they retail at about between 55 and 60 pounds. That's on Amazon in the UK, dependent on the particular colour that you get. Uh, and at the time of filming this, there was four colours. Uh, there was black, uh, multicam, I think OD and tan uh, as well. Um, so, on this, it features four mag pouches across the back there. You've then got sort of two pistol pouch, um, mag pouches at the front on this side, two more pistol pouch, mag pouches on the front here, and then you've got a um, sort of a round six inch um, tactical pocket there with molly loops on the front and a little bit of Velcro, which opens up to house any sort of accessories that want. Your phone would probably go quite nicely depending on the size of your handset, uh, maybe a radio, a map, speed loader, small speed loader, that kind of thing. So you've got some good sort of, um, even a spare battery, I suppose, would go in there quite happily and quite well. Um, I am liking this more and more. So it's also features, which I think is brilliant. Um, you can not only detach all of these cables from it and effectively um, put another front panel on, but the back also comes off. So the back is quite a nice rubberized material uh, which is going to help sort of grip against your whatever camo or clothing you wear to play in. So it's going to stop it shifting too much. It's going to obviously keep it uh, retained against your chest or whatever. Um, which again, you know, I move about a lot, run about a lot and find belt kits usually typically serve me better because of the movements kept to my hips. If this is going to be sort of tightened down and held tight to my chest and that's going to stop it moving much, I am really looking forward to this. You can also fully remove this back panel altogether, um, which means then that uh, a lot of plate carriers have a big Velcro section on the front. So this whole panel could in theory then be attached to uh, the front of another um, device or alternatively this whole panel can be replaced with another buckle up panel uh, in, instead and, and to change your loadout, I suppose, depending on the situation and, and, and things that you're going to be playing with. So... That I'm really happy with. Uh, next thing I really like is the inclusion of the molly on the uh, shoulder straps as well, where they're coming down around. You've got a couple of D-rings 
for if you want to attach certain things. I know people, some people have got sort of slings that will mount to these points and things. Uh, but having these, I find these can be useful for getting like a small radio pouch attached to here. Um, uh, on um, the, the Molly loops on my own belt kit that I normally run, I've actually attached a, a dead rag. Uh, not that I always remember to use it, but just useful for little features like that that can just sort of give you that that little bit extra uh, i know a lot of people like to mount the sort of like pretend combat knives on there and stuff like that the rubber bladed ones and things like that just for the look so it's got a lot of options you know the fact then that you've got extra molly at the front there you could probably drop a couple of extra pistol mag pouches on there maybe another small pouch to hold some extra items maybe a speed loader Probably even stick a couple of extra um, 556 five, mag pouches on there and get a couple of extra mags on there, taking it from four to six mags, which is pretty um, pretty, pretty handy, really. Uh, I usually run about seven mags, so being able to run four across the back, two on the front, and then one in the AEG as well would be more than sort of you know ideal for me. It'd be perfect for me, but I fire a lot in a day. So getting back to this anyway, um, the mag loops then have all got bungee retentions on the top which I like to secure your mags down, and they are, um, it looks like, yeah, they are adjustable. So you've got these uh, pinch points here that you can release and tighten back down to adjust them. Why would you want to adjust them? Because of different types of mag, which we're coming to now. So I kind of pillaged, you know, all sorts of mags that I could find. So I've got Glock mag, I've got an AEP mag, I've got a pistol style speed loader, I've got a Scorpion SMG mag, I've got an AK mag, I've got an unusually long GMG M4 high cap, I've got a SEMA wind up, new poly even, uh, high cap M4, I've got an G3 mag and I've got a TK45 SMG mag. So we can have a look at what kind of things fit in where. So I'm going to start with this quite big thick chunky boy G3 and I'm going to slot that in there and actually I wasn't expecting that to fit for some reason. I didn't think that that would fit in there. I thought this, the pouch was going to be a bit too narrow, a bit too tight, but that actually fits really nice. Uh, and even with this pulled down tight, I've got a good sort of access to get that G3 mag in and out. So if I wanted to, that's made me happy no end, to be honest. Uh, I can run G3 mags in this uh, loadout. So they are quite thick and chunky. Um, bigger, typically thicker than an AK mag, as you can see there. So I was that's impressed me. Next then we've got an AK mag, which again will go in nicely. The bungee loops will stretch up on top. Now that's not even fully extended. I could extend that further and get more bungee retention on there and that's still really secure in there. It's not gonna go anywhere at all. So we'll drop that out two minutes. We've then got SMG mags. Now with this, um, what I would possibly tend to do is probably get away with double stacking your SMG mags. Now in there, that is two mags in one pocket. So actually, with the bungee retention, it's probably not gonna do an awful lot, but two mags in there are probably gonna be fairly secure. So you can adjust this um, down quite a, a long distance to sit, instead of high up on your chest, you can lower it down your chest, sort of top of your stomach, um, giving you the, the height then that you need to have those mags set in up and they're not gonna poke you in the chin when you, you're crouching down and stuff. So you have got the ability there to double stack potentially up to eight SMG mags uh, in there. So those are Scorpion Mod D and Mod M mags and that's a TK45 uh, mag. Both I think are thicker than an MP5 mag. So we've then got the long M4 mag, which we knew would fit all along. Uh, a couple of M4 mags, different, slightly different sizes. Again, sit really nice in there. Quick bungee to the side and your mag is out and it can be changed and thrown in. So we'll have a look now then at the little pistol pocket. So a Glock mag, straight in there, nicely sits out the top, Let's put it in the other way so that you can pinch it and pull it. A um, little bit of fiddling getting in there, but I'd typically run a dump pouch anyway on a belt. So even if the mag was empty, I wouldn't necessarily go to drop it in there. Just for speed, I'd drop the, the empty in a dump pouch and pull a new one out of there. Uh, so I can easily get a couple of those in there. Now, with the being the flap over the top with extra Velcro for if you want to mount patches and things like that, maybe you need a first patch on there. Um, AP mags, 
are very secure in there. They're not going to come out particularly easily. They could still come sideways and jump out. I wouldn't expect it. I can pull that quite far. Mm, that's good. There we go. That about there is the there. There's the lowest I can get it. It can still probably come out, but it's not really intended to carry AP mags in there. That said, you can get, I have seen 3D printable uh, little inserts for in here that will hold your AEP mags in a preset position so they don't have the movement to go about. So again, making this ideal, again, if you're running an AEP as a sidearm. Now, the TK45 mag will, ooh, it will go in there and goes in and out quite easily. Obviously, you're not gonna get any real retention of that like you would at the back. It's gonna be a little bit more snug there, particularly when you're wearing it and it's strapped down tight. Obviously, the pulling around your body will pull on this front material, uh, material and hold it in. But that will go in there. Will the Mod D mag go in as well? And the Mod D mag will go in as well. So if you're running the tiny little Scorpion mags, for example, they potentially could go in there. So last thing I'm gonna do is I've got the cool variety of mags for the E4 here. So I'm gonna put three, all three in. Now I know obviously they're not quite standard colors or you know, to everyone's liking, they're a little bit different. I do like the, the quirkiness of them. Put them in there and then a fourth mag. And even with those, it's still not particularly heavy. Um, loaded up, touch heavier. But it's still, you know, they're quite heavily concealed. So for these mags there, they're not going to be a dead giveaway that there's effectively mint green mags in my uh, in my chest rig. Uh, but I am liking that. The fact that I can get <clears throat> also utility stuff in there, you know, chuck in an AP mag, a speed loader, a Glock mag, and it's still got plenty of space in there with a mesh pocket at the back. This front panel would probably do a lot to protect your phone. I wouldn't 100% guarantee that it would though. It'd be worth some padding in there. But the variety of pockets on this is absolutely phenomenal. I'll just remove these again. And we'll take another look at the back. It's a lot of mags. So flipping it over then. So we've got a uh, strap that goes round your waist stroke back, which has got absolutely bags and bags of adjustment in it. So if I, um, I think it's quoted as um, up to a 44 inch chest, I think it said. Let me, let me check my little um, sheet of paper. 30 to 44 inch chest. So you have got a lot of availability there in in sizing to to suit your needs uh, you know i am definitely built for comfort and not for speed uh, so it, you know even with me this this is going to fit and it's going to be really adjustable and really comfortable the shoulder straps themselves then um it is a deliberate thing that they cross over because it helps just secure them down a little bit but again there is bags of adjustment at the bottom of these straps here to adjust to your preference of where you want it on your body so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go play airsoft. I'm going to use this at the weekend. I'm going to get some lovely uh, posing shots. Hopefully get some in-game shots as well. Maybe try and do a little bit of video of pulling mags out and changing mags in various guns as well. Just to show it off. And then I will come back and give my final thoughts of it and what I think. See you in a minute.
So I'm back from testing it and using it. Hopefully you've enjoyed the uh, few little video clips that I put in there and pictures. Um, do you know what? I've, I've run it for the whole day, pretty much the whole day, apart from one game where Fez Jr. took over uh, and wore it a little bit. Um, I, I thought it was a fantastic piece of kit. I, I forgot how good it is to actually run a chess rig uh, and, and, and just actually quite quite made my life easier uh, my only regret and it's not a negative against this it's uh, they all no doubt is uh, that I didn't take a, a dump pouch or something else and just having that um, speed of, of dropping empties um, back in the middle of a firefight would have been perfect um, what I did find is I, what I should have done is I should have spent some time probably in the run up to the event where I went to play with this at AMS No Man's Land in uh, Barnsley South Yorkshire um, I should have left some mags in it to sort of form it, shape it, whatever. So just having them sat in there, you know, all loaded up, loaded out, will help to sort of shape it, expand it, make sure that it ends up in the, the shape that you want, the most efficient uh, shape that you need. Um, so that basically, come game day, you are not like me, sort of fighting with it a little bit because it's obviously it's still pretty new and fresh and, and, and clean and what have you. That said, that is a, a you know a tiny little niggle from me. The, this thing absolutely held up and, and dealt with every with everything that I threw at it on the day. So I managed to get uh, my phone in the front pouch there. Oh, revision anti-fog wipe left in there. Uh, so I managed to get my phone in there uh, with a little bit of padding in front of it just to protect it in case. Uh, I'd also got a spare battery as well. At one point, a little stick type NIM in there. Um, I managed to get um, some blanks in there as well for my uh, BFG, Dynatex BFG. Um, you know, I've got enough space for four mags in there um, and a couple more on uh, the belt as well, the belt rig, which will uh, discuss in another video and it was just really comfortable the adjustment there's bags of room in there um you know even that still got it quite adjusted um uh, and there's still a good you know six eight inch of adjustment left in that uh you know i'm a, a uk size large uh, and, and that fit me really happily with bags more room left of adjustment uh, up and down and uh, around my back as well so really really good if you do get one and i genuinely think if you're looking for some sort of chest rig setup this is the kind of thing you need to be looking at uh, what i would recommend is that you put your mags in it that you are going to be running in it of a regular basis for a few days maybe a week beforehand and just have it sit just primed and ready like that so that the mags uh, the pouches the material is sort of settling into being opened out being filled whatever ready for things um, i did find that uh, if i'd have done that at times it was compressed a little bit tighter you know squeezing what have you the mag pouches would have stayed uh, formed up a little bit better um for me uh, that's just my lack of prep with running it. I forgot that you know it's worthwhile doing with that sort of thing. Uh, I found that the bungee cords did a really good job of retaining things, and I didn't lose a mag all day, which is uh, good for me. It's uh, most most game days I end up coming back having lost a mag, uh, so it retained things really really nicely. Um, I just thoroughly enjoyed it. Even these, the fact that they've got adjusters on them, so you can shorten them down. Obviously, AK mags are quite large, so the fact that I was able to adjust them out to accommodate the larger mags, the taller mags, was fantastic. Um, so I ran uh, three different type of mags in it. I ran G3 mags, AK mags, and AR mags in it. I did find that the base plate on the G3 mags have got some sort of um, protruding edges not like these that are nicely rounded sort of catching edges so i did find that trying to get the, the g3 mags although they fit in there perfectly they did catch at times on on some of the material and some of the edges um so just be careful with that if you are going to run them i did think though that um what i'll probably do is put a little bit of duct tape around the bottom of the mag just because it, the mag's at fault not not the chest rig there um, but fantastically versatile piece of kit um thank you again to Antigris for sending me this out uh, and let me use this and review them for the for them um really really enjoyed it and this is going to become probably a permanent addition to my uh, normal rotation of gear now that i will run the chest rig and the belt and holster as well which we're covering in a separate video so hope you found that useful hope you enjoyed it please do remember to like comment and subscribe and i will see you next time bye